I've been trying some different uh, crystal radio designs. I've been experimenting with crystal radios lately, and I decided to put together something that would allow me to, to build these crystal radios quickly and easily using jumper wires and so on so I could test the design because, frankly, I found a couple of designs that uh, do not really work very well. And so I'm going to go through some of those, some of the popular designs on the Internet and see how well they really work. Again, this will allow me to put them together quickly, show you what's going on, and see whether they work or not. So the first one is a very popular design. Uh, it's got a, a, a capacitive tuner in it. And, uh, well, let's uh, get on with it. Let me set it up, and uh, we'll see how well it works. And we can compare it to this design. This is a modified Boy Scout radio design. And we can compare the two and see which works better. Okay, so let's get started. This is our setup uh, from our picture. You can see, let's check this, the antenna goes through the coil to the ground. So we have the antenna starting over here. It's this white wire. Connects onto the capacitor. So antenna comes through here, connects on the capacitor, also connects on the coil. This is tapped into the coil right here. And then it goes across 80 turns, so 20, 40, 60, 80 turns. 80 turns later it goes to the ground, which is this yellow wire. So all these yellow wires connect back here to this. And they also connect to the ground. You can see the ground connects to the variable capacitor. Got the diode. So on the antenna side, going back to the antenna side, we've got the diode right here. So it comes through here. The antenna goes through this insulator block. And down here, it's clipped on here. And to one side of the crystal earphone, and the other side of the crystal earphone goes back to the ground. Okay, so we got that covered. Now, I'll let you listen while I tune through this and you can hear what we get. And all I get is one station when I listen. Uh, I have gotten up to two stations, but uh, I've gotten one station. And this is one of the most popular designs. This di is a design you will find all over the Internet. looks very good, but it uh, plain doesn't work. I've tried it in many different configurations. I've tried uh, using other coils and other numbers of turns and so forth, and different variable capacitors, bigger, smaller, what have you. And I get one or two stations at most, so it's, it's not working. I thought it would work like a transistor radio. I tune the variable capacitor, and I would get all these different stations and very clearly, and I have never have. So uh, let me go through a little bit why I think there's a huge difference between this and some other crystal radio designs that work better. So, for example, those with a wiper on them. Okay, let's go over that and see if you agree with me. Well, here's my theory on why these two crystal radios operate very differently, why this one will receive. I've gotten 17 to 20 different stations on this, and this I can get one to two. And why is that? Well, my theory is that if I look at this, if I, I take any coil, every coil has inductance and capacitance, and that's what creates the resonance thing and, and gives you your radio tuning. And what this wiper thing is doing is it's dividing this coil into two different pieces. I've got the left side where I've got inductance and capacitance, and I've got the right side which has its own separate inductance and capacitance. And as I move this wiper, the inductance and capacitance on this side is getting smaller, and on this side it's getting bigger. And when I move it back this way, the inductance and capacitance on this side is getting bigger, hugely bigger, and on this side it's getting much smaller and I'm changing the inductance and capacitance together. So I'm getting this huge change in inductance and capacitance, which again is what causes that resonance thing in the circuit, which gives me the radio. On this side, if I look at it, okay, so I got the first 80 turns like they told me to do. I've got it tapped right in here, and I got the antenna down here. So I got the first 80 turns like they told me. Here's the diagram. 80 turns, and that's it. There's nothing, there's no wiper on there. So I've got the straight 80 turns and I've got the induction capacitance from those 80 turns. And that's it. And then all I'm doing is changing the capacitance in this capacitor across here. 
which is right here, and I'm changing the capacitance, but all of this is fixed. There's no inductance and no capacitance changing, so I'm only going like from 0 to 360 picofarads, and again, no change in inductance. My guess is that's why this one picks up one station, and frankly, I can pick up one station just using uh, a diode and an earphone, so I don't need all this stuff. But uh, my guess is, again, that's why this is not, does not work nearly as well as this type of setup, because this, I'm only changing a little bit of capacitance, and the inductance and the capacitance of the coil is staying fixed, whereas on this side, I'm changing two sets. I'm changing the left set of inductance and capacitance and the right set of inductance and capacitance. So I'm getting a whole different setup. Uh, and again, that's my idea on why this type of setup, this, this is the Boy Scout, modified Boy Scout radio, if you will, is much better than this. And this diagram you find all over the internet. And I'm kind of disappointed because I wonder how many people have given up on crystal radios because they tried to do this and it just doesn't work. So uh, that's, that's it for this uh, setup. I mean, it's uh, it just plain doesn't work very well and I discourage people from trying it. I'm not the only one who's posted this out there on the internet that this thing doesn't work. But hopefully people will see this style and they will uh, build this style and have a lot more success with it. Well, anyway, that was it. Uh, hope you found it interesting and useful in your crystal radio building.